what's up y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hey girl hey make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified when i upload a new video and if you are not already sis make sure you follow me on instagram at the hair life and the hair life official i do want to just quickly put out a disclaimer this video any other luxury video that i put out you guys i promise you like i'm not trying to brag or show off i personally love luxury youtube luxury videos are my favorite to watch on youtube i just love it especially seeing black girls in luxury we need to normalize it okay and i want to share that with you guys because i find it extremely helpful when i'm looking for something or um i might even be interested in something that i didn't even know but i find out on youtube so i just want to put that disclaimer out there um if you do not like luxury videos i completely understand you do not have to watch this video um but if you do girl stick around so we can we can get into it so i'm gonna be um boxing a louis vuitton elma bb and i'm so excited y'all this this bag has been on my wish list for maybe like two years maybe about two years i remember when i first wanted this bag it was only like 1200 we'll, we'll get into the pricing and everything in a little bit because i know somebody probably just came here for the actual unboxing but okay so i just pulled up my email i just wanted to give you guys like your dates so today is may 3rd i purchased this bag on march 22nd tell you guys i did have to exchange that bag did take the little strip off this is an actual unboxing the first time when i got the bag um i did film like a reels for it which if you guys are following my instagram um i will post that when this video is uploaded so at the bottom but i have not opened the bag and i just love that they don't put the names on the outside of the bag so you know our stuff gonna get stolen but i like how when you open it up it has the louis vuitton right here so I'm just gonna open this up. This did come UPS. Um, here is just the receipts. There's nothing like unboxing a new bag. It's just, oh, it just makes me so happy. So here is the beautiful box. Oh, I'm so excited. So I'm just gonna undo these ribbons. Okay, so I adjusted my camera a little bit. So hopefully we'll be able to see a little bit better. So here's the box. And y'all know it's just like the simple magnetic closure. Here is the bag inside the dust bag. Oh, okay. So, ooh, here it is. Oh my goodness. This bag is so beautiful to me. So here is my new Elma BB. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. So let me look and see. I'm just trying to check everything out. So you guys are gonna see on the previous bag, when it came, there was like a glue spot right here. This one does say made in France. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys this up close. There's like a little red piece right here in between the threads. And I'm also noticing, so again, like I said, I have video clips of the first bag that I did receive. That one had three double stitch. It had three double stitches on the side on the sides on here here as well as the other ones and this one doesn't that's a little weird because i i'm pretty sure i've seen videos that say all of the new elmas have that so i've also seen several unboxings where like the key bell is either on here or it's not already this one is and let me push so to get the keys out you just push this this is kind of hard to show on camera one second you just kind of push it and then the keys are hanging out of it and then you just slide it back down like so and then they're hidden so I'm gonna open it up because the inside obviously is supposed to have the strap and the lock so I will say this zipper looks ten times better than the other zipper that was on the previous bag so I'm just gonna show you guys close up and one major thing my last zipper was not smooth at all so 
Oh yeah, this one's much smoother. Much, much, much. This one's much better. Oh yeah. Definitely much better. Okay, so inside here, we have the strap. I'm gonna take this out. Here's the strap. And then here's the dust bag for the lock. Let's see, the lock should be in here. Let's make sure. Okay, here's the lock. Now I don't, I'm not gonna leave this lock on the bag just because I don't want it to get scratched up. Um, I think these are like the textile cards. I um, mean, it just tells you the fabrics that it's made out of. Here's like a little barcode. So I'm just gonna, I always usually just leave these inside of the bag. So I'm just gonna show you guys the beautiful red interior and I don't wanna stretch it out too much, but one pocket right here at the top, if you guys can see one pocket the rest of it is just open and if you guys also notice on the sides even if you have your bag zipped down all the way they have fabric let me see if i can show you guys there's fabric on the side of the bag as you can see so your things are not going to fall out and i love that they did that so i'm noticing these handles also are a lot better on this bag than they were on the last so this zipper you guys i'm telling you is so much better than that other zipper it was not good at all just looking at the hardware there doesn't seem to be any like hairline scratches like the other bag had but i am kind of concerned about like that double stitch and i know somebody's probably like i'm being nitpicky but i just i'm concerned because i definitely had heard that that was on all of the newer bags so hmm that's pretty interesting. Um, this bag does come with feet at the bottom, which I love. So when you sit this down, the bottom of your bag is not gonna get dirty because it has these protective feet. So I love that. And they do have Louis Vuitton on them. So the handles, I'm, I know this is probably weird. I will say like this smells like leather, but I feel like that the other bag had more, like it was a fresher, leather scent if that makes sense but it definitely smells like leather it doesn't smell like plastic or anything so i don't have anything to worry about there but i do just want to know about the double stitches so here we are up close and what i was saying right here it had three double stitches and it had it here as well as on the back of the other bag so i'm just going to show you guys if you look on the handles, you can see this handle has like this little hook part at the top and this one does not. And then if you turn the back around, it's the same thing. They're opposite from each other. These are the handles which hook your strap onto. So the strap is also treated leather and it has the LV on the bottom of the, I think these are D rings. Here, you just wanna snap it on like so. Come around and snap that and you have it like this now this bag does not work for me crossbody which i was super bummed out about because i really did purchase this so i could just have this as an everyday bag but it does not work for um my body frame at the moment as a crossbody bag so I'm still gonna have to get like an everyday crossbody. The size for me was gonna be perfect. But like I said, it, it doesn't work. Just notice, I'm gonna try to get up close for you guys. It's like, like a little fray on the stitching. Another issue that I did have with the other bag, there was like little indents and dips in between right here. And I'm not seeing it on this bag at all. Like the structure of this bag definitely looks better i do see like a little dip down here but it's not up here and i think that was because of how the zipper was sewn on it was like kind of caved in on one side but like i said these zippers are a lot better if this bag does work for you you are able to wear it crossbody you can wear it 
um, on your shoulder and you can carry top handle. So I love the look of carrying this top handle and letting the straps hang. I think it looks so cute. If I'm going out to like a nice dinner or something, then I won't leave the straps on. I'll just take it off, take them off and carry a top handle. Um, now, if you do want to put your lock on, I've seen people do different things. I've seen people put it on one of the handles. People leave it um, right here. You would put hook it in between here. Here is my new baby. Let me know if you guys have recently purchased the Alma or if you know it to be fact that they do have the three stitches like that please let me know because i i would hate to have to send this back again okay so i hope that my camera is picking it up but if you guys can see right here there's a little bit of wrinkling at the top this one's fine and i'm gonna turn the bag around and see yeah that's the only one so this one and this one, neither one of these have any wrinkles on it. Coming up, but here is the bag close up. Here are the feet. The three double stitches, but it does have the Louis Vuitton Paris right here. And if you turn it around, it has them right here as well. And it does say made in France. And I'm gonna give you guys the clip. So I do think I want to get an organizer for this just because I don't want the inside to get dirty. So I for sure am a Dami or a Ben girl. The monogram, I feel like I like certain bags in monogram. I do have a toiletry 26 pouch, but um, even my number four is also Dami or Ben. I don't know. I just feel like the, the Vachetta leather is a little bit too high maintenance for me. But a lot of people don't like when their Vachetta patinas. I personally feel like they look better after they patina. So I don't really like that like super light look that it has before your oils and everything gets to it and kind of ages it. I personally do not like that look, but I don't have to worry about getting water stains on here or anything crazy happening to it because this is treated leather on the handles and at the bottom. And this is obviously canvas. So I personally love Damir Ben. So let me know in the comments below, do you guys like Damir Ben better or do you like the um, monogram and, and i feel like this is just classic lv Louis Vuitton had the damier bin before they had the monogram so yeah i know a lot of people think that it was the opposite way around but yeah the damier bin came first so i love this bag it's a classic 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 style from louis Vuitton. so I so i do want to just show you guys how much can fit in the bag I quickly realized, like with my Neverfull, I bought the GM size. I initially purchased the MM Neverfull, and I'm like, this is way too small. I could easily fill this up. Um, so I did purchase the GM, and I really have not carried it. I more so just carry my little pouch. So that goes to show, like, I don't really carry a lot of things anymore day to day. And um, when my kids were smaller, this GM. I probably would have easily filled up because I had a lot of their things inside of it. So, this is the inside of my pouch right now, just to show you guys, give you guys like a little overview. The Alma right here, my pouch, and I'm gonna just transfer and add some more things as well that I will be carrying day to day. Um, I have these things in this little YSL dust bag for my card holder. I do plan on getting a toiletry 15 because I feel like it would be perfect for my little throw-in things that I have. So in here, I have a mini Lysol. I have some hand lotion. This is a hand food cream by Soap and Glory. I have some gum. And I have 
a little travel size perfume. This is YSO Black Opium. So I'm just carrying those in here because I don't want to just put these inside like that. And then I also put my lip gloss. I think I have one in here. Lip gloss in here so it's not just sliding around and getting dirty in my bag. So I'm going to just put that in here first. And as you guys can see, there's still plenty of room to put in is my phone. This is the iPhone 11 Pro Max, I believe. So I'm gonna slide my phone in here on the side. So next thing I have is my YSL card holder. The next thing I'm gonna grab is my key holder. I do have the Damier Bean key holder. This is the six key ring holder and I just leave, until I get um, another little thing to hook on, I just leave my five hanging out and the rest of my keys are inside. Um, my business cards, I do take these with me. The only other thing that I would really take out is probably a pen but this definitely is gonna have to go in that dust bag because i do not want that busting in the bag and getting everywhere so so i do have a pair of shades right here i don't have a case in here and i really don't feel like getting up to go get one um so i mean even if i just stuck those shades right there as you guys can see all of my things are in here and we still have a little bit more room. The other thing that like I always take with me if I'm leaving home is a water bottle, but that's not gonna fit in here and I wouldn't wanna put it in here anyway. Like my the bag has, it definitely has some weight to it, but it's not anything that's too, too heavy. See how much is in there. So I'm just gonna zip it up. I, I was not able to zip it up with one hand on the last bag, so I'm already happy about that. So yeah, that's already a plus. And you guys can see the zipper is not warped. That's a huge, huge no for me. Um, if it's warped, then I would definitely take something out because I am not gonna mess up the zipper. So, so yeah, here is the bag full and packed. And I just love that it's structured. I I know a lot of people probably prefer like a Speedy over the Alma, but I don't really like the Speedy. I don't really like that slouch look of it. I so current retail price for this bag after Louis Vuitton's numerous price increases, the retail price for this currently is $14.80. After tax, I do live in Michigan. Our sales tax is 6% and I did pay $15.68. Um, so yeah. So yeah, so if you want this bag, I highly suggest you getting it before Louis Vuitton does another price increase. I'm not sure. Just so I can give you guys like a timeline and everything that happened really quickly. If you don't care, you can, you know, obviously you can be done watching the video. But if anyone cares, I do want to just pull out some receipts. I have been I have been stalking Louis Vuitton's website, literally stalking it every day. And the bag was out of stock, out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. I was calling and they kept telling me like, oh, you know, it might be 14 to 21 days and that's not what I wanted to hear. So I was just like, okay, I'm just keep looking. And when I see it available, I'm just gonna order it. So I went on the website one morning, had it in my cart. I was about to check out, I believe, like my kids are in virtual school, so I believe some, I believe my little five-year-old, she needed help with something. I help her, I come back, I go to check out, the bag was gone. When I tell you guys, my heart literally just sunk because I'm just like, wow, I'm finally ready to pull the trigger by the bag and the bag is gone. So upset. So I got right on the phone. I called Louis Vuitton Client Services. The first lady that I spoke to, she was telling me that it was not able to be ordered at all. So I said, okay, there's one thing about me. If I'm not gonna answer that I wanna hear, about it, I will hang up and I will call back so I can speak to someone else. So I told her, thank you for your help. Got off the phone, call right back. The second the nearest Louis Vuitton location to me is in Troy, Michigan in Somerset Mall. Um, but it is two hours away from me. So I, I'm like, I really don't wanna drive there if a, I need an appointment, and B, I can't even get in because neither one of the locations, the Saks location and the freestanding store, they never answer the phone. So it was gonna be impossible for me to get an appointment. I don't have an essay there. I do have an essay in Ohio from ordering my toiletry pouch. I did contact her, but she didn't get back to me for a while because obviously she was busy. So um, by the time she did end up getting back to me, I had already ordered. So needless to say, location, I think they said they might have had one, but they said by the time I get down there, it could literally sell. So I'm like, okay. I can't really remember what they said about 
the ordering. I don't really remember. They must, it must have been the same thing. Like they must have told me that they couldn't order it. So I just kept checking that whole day. I kept checking, kept checking, nothing. I went back on there the next day, still out of stock. Something told me to click the Louis Vuitton chat, which I've never done before. I clicked the chat and I told um, the lady, her name was Carmen. I told her what I was looking for. And she was like, okay, I can order it for you. You will get it within 14 business days. So I, I said, oh, Period. Period. What do I need to do? So she got my email. So something happened where the connection got lost with the chat and I was just like, oh my God, what now? So luckily they do make you enter in your email. So I look on my phone, she had emailed me right after the connection was lost. And she let me know that I would be able to link to purchase. It directed me back to the website. It had the link, let me know that it would take up to 14 business days for me to, um, for me to receive it. So I said, okay. With me thinking like, okay, it's gonna take 14 business days. Like I was not expecting to get anything, like a track number or anything for at least another week or two. Well, I wake up the next day and I get a notification you know saying that the bag shipped. I'm like, what? The bag shipped? Like I was so, so, so excited, so excited. So it ended up getting delivered to me on the 24th. Um, of March so that's how I got it so if there's any bag that you want that is out of stock even if you're calling and they're telling you that they that it can't be ordered or they can't locate it for you or anything go on the chat because that that seemed to work for me and I never thought about doing that before so if you want something definitely check out the chat and see what they can do for you for you so yeah that was a story i didn't want to make it too long because this video i know is longer than what i wanted it to be like i said this is a classic this the original alma obviously was not the bb size i believe it was the pm size has been around since 1934 so if you are only trying to buy like classic bags that will stand the test of time been around since 1934 this this style of bag has been around for almost 100 years so you do not have to worry about that at all so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please let me know down below if you enjoyed this let me know what other luxury videos you guys would like to see um i like i said i love luxury videos so let me know down below um if you guys have the alma how you feel about it are you a monogram or a dami or ben girl and if you don't like louis vuitton let me know what's your favorite um fashion house let me know down below and i will definitely see you guys in my next video thank you guys so much for watching